You can buy a car by email, you can order a pizza from your watch. But when it comes to sensitive healthcare communications, most of the medical world is still using fax machines. Why? The idea for fax machines has been around since the 1800s. Modern faxes, which send images through phone lines, have been in use since about the 1960s. We've been able to send and receive documents via email for over two decades, so why would we still rely on such archaic technology? Well, for one thing, hardwired phone lines are often more reliable than Wi-Fi or other internet connections. It is relatively easy to tap into a phone line, but a breach like that would only give a hacker access to one person's medical records. On the other hand, if someone hacks into an online database, thousands of people's records could be vulnerable. In many states, it is legally required for medical providers to keep paper copies of patient records. It is sometimes more convenient to just fax something over than to have to download a file and print it from an email. There are some drawbacks to using fax. Common clerical mistakes and poor resolution on fax documents can result in medical errors, mix-ups between patients, and other mistakes that can increase cost and waste and could be harmful. Faxing documents to the wrong number is a simple mistake that can cause big problems. Private medical information can also get into the wrong hands when paper documents are spit out from the equivalent of a public drinking fountain in the middle of an office. This isn't exactly a privacy-sensitive practice in the 21st century. And perhaps, most importantly, faxes are inefficient and slow down decisions. The technology puts bureaucracy in the path of patients waiting for critical procedures or medicine. Over the years, there have been attempts to modernize this system. But the fax machine is so entrenched in how the US medical system is regulated that this 19th century technology doesn't seem to be going anywhere soon. 